you guys are going on i hope you all are doing fine unlike me i'm suffering from cold and cough you can probably guess that from my voice but hey guys i am in gujarat a warrior right now massive shout out to them and especially luke for having me here to watch some of their attacks and bring it to you guys and they are in champion leagues one guys all town hall 12 that should be quite fun let's get right into this one Okay guys so the attack number 1 that we are going to see would be on number 2 by Jeet let's get into this one okay guys so let's just have a look at this um this army has uh, electric dragon and baby dragon that is for funneling purposes we have a queen war component we have a wall wrecker we have three pekas and 12 bowlers and i reckon that in that wrecker we also have some bowlers but i'm not too sure we'll kind of see that and also guys some bad spells so this army is kind of very interesting let's just see how ajit puts this attack all together so that electric dragon kind of gave a funnel towards the left hand side now we have the giant uh, the archer queen with the healers for the queen walk and the wrecker to actually break into these walls and it will have to go through the three walls which i doubt it will as it is soaking a pretty high damage right now and all of our heroes go inside over there so two walls is what our wrecker went through and ice golem all right so ice golem and pekka is what we had in that wrecker not the bowler's pardon for that and free spell comes down the rage spell is down as well the gem spell is down to grab us some of the entries in those compartments two multi infernos are present over there but the attack is going pretty smooth the troops are kind of ignoring both of them and one of them is active right now warden's ability has been used guys we still have to use our bad spells they are still to come in and let's just see how this attack actually progresses guys so still holding on to the two free spells i think it would be used for the back end but we'll see because of that multi inferno and some high splash damage like wizard towers and the heroes still have the ability so the attack was going quite good over here the healers were taking some slight damage with that uh, a defense and now our bats spells come in guys our bats are now wandering inside the base that air sweeper kind of Uh, trying to counter them but they're too quick guys and there comes down the first free spell perfectly placed and getting that a wizard tower to stop the damage and just multi inferno is left that can damage but we have another freeze and we would be using it to get that to uh, to stop actually and yes guys that's it pretty beautiful attack that was uh, all well planned and it went smoothly as well so gg is to jeet and now we'll move towards the next attack Right guys nice attack over there moving on to our attack number 2 we have the undertaker coming in against the real ant they got some real names over there guys uh, but anyways i have actually speeded up this clip so the army is kind of the same guys just a minor modifications from the last attack we have the electric dragon on the left hand side working its way and it is going to have some hard time from the cc and you will eventually see it going down but anyways i'm not too sure if the undertaker actually changed his plan or he continued with the thing he actually planned i kind of asked him in the clan chat but he couldn't even read it bad luck over there but anyways guys he has the poison spell on the which is one pekka is down and two more bowlers behind them to actually deal with the cc let's just see what happens next so the queen walk is now coming in from the bottom side of the base again like i said i'm not too sure if that was the initial plan or he changed it at the last moment uh, but anyways let's see now the war wrecker is coming in from exactly the bottom side the town hall is not too far away but the eagle artillery is act, uh, activated now we have our heroes and the bowlers coming inside the core as well with those pekas obviously some highly armored pekas going inside with that uh, towards that giga tesla compartment and now we have the uh what we, what we call it tornado trap yes guys the tornado trap is kind of hindering our progress but we have popped the grand warden's ability and the attack is going okay so far some more archers from the cc are you kidding me cc uh, cc has actually uh ruined this attack pretty much uh, so far and let's just see if he uh, how close he was actually picking off a three star but we'll see guys we'll see we got to be patient one inferno is kind of on the right hand side and from there we have a bad spells coming inside as well we have splash damage that is the wizard tower and that needs to be frozen and he does the same guys the troops are now 
towards the outside i mean the pekas the grand warden and the archer queen but it's okay the attack is going quite well so far and that wizard tower actually damaged those bats by a lot and the freeze was kind of late and wait on the expo i am kind of uh, i don't know what just happened over there guys but it's okay let's just see what happens next 80% is what he's holding right now no troops inside the core no troops to actually target that eagle artillery that's unlucky for uh, the undertaker with this attack the pekas are wandering outside queen goes down the warden is about to go down and the pekas would be just wandering outside with that king as well and that's why this kind of failed up probably the free spell and a couple of more things could have been done better it could have been a three star but hey still a great attack by undertaker let's now move towards the next attack right guys moving into our attack number three we have jay going against wads again speeding up the clip this time we have electro dragons coming in not a ground attack guys and one electro dragon on the left hand flank one on the right hand flank guys i don't know why but i found this pretty satisfying i don't know about you guys now the electro dragons job for the funneling has been done i don't know why but i found this pretty satisfying guys let me know if you found it satisfying as well uh, but it's okay we are still holding on to our seven of the electro dragons Dragons, two of the loons come down and behind them the electro dragons unlucky for that left electro dragon that he couldn't actually uh, grab on for that loon and it actually took the seeking air mine by itself the grand uh, grand warden is set to air and it is coming behind those uh, electro dragons as well i didn't actually understood that uh, free spell but okay never mind so the grand warden's ability is now popped up the eagle artillery and that uh, inferno war actually dealing the damage and boom a rage spell and that chain lightning spell stood no chance for that poor inferno i feel bad for that <laughs> but it's okay guys now uh, let's see how this attack is progressing so air sweeper is dealing a lot of uh, trouble for the left hand side electro dragon and also the stone slammer on the top side the town hall is going down so that's good for him the queen is doing certainly well over there guys clearing all the right offsets and the stone slammer is about to pop up the electro dragon is in uh, in the left hand side as well that air sweeper guys that is kind of what i say the main reason why this attack wasn't really a three star it pushed away that electro dragon pretty well and that was the tower actually took down those loons as well so this is where kind of the attack actually failed the attack would be actually ending over here so i'll kind of see you in the next attack guys and let's see what they have in store for us All right, guys. In the next attack, we have some Queen Walk Minor action coming in for you guys, and this is going to be really long attack. So let me catch my breath for a second. Uh, anyways, guys. So first of all, Baby Dragon for funneling and a loon from the top hand side to get any seeking air mines, if any, and Electro Dragon behind it to create a good funnel. And the Queen Walk would be starting from the north inside, and we have a Wall Wrecker that would be assisting that Queen Walk. And inside the Wall Wrecker, we also have some Valkyries that will actually help the Queen to deal with the enemy Queen and also the enemy CC guys. It is going through the walls right now. Second layer, it goes down now, and it actually took down the Inferno by itself as well. No, nope, the Queen actually assisted that. So right, guys, and now we have the Valkyries coming in from our Wrecker and the opponent CC as well. That is witches and uh ice golem that is what i can see from here and poison spell is already down for them and i want to see uh, i want you guys to actually see this over here the healers are just outside the radius of that a defense that was quite lucky for him uh, but he won't be actually very lucky towards the end of the attack you'll kind of see it and the witches actually took a lot of time to be cleared and you you will see how that affects that attack later on but the queen is now progressing quite well she is doing some decent damage and the miners would be coming down pretty soon the king has started the work to funnel down from the right hand side and behind them are two wizards as well now we have the miners coming in the eagle artillery is all activated and targeting the king for now the wizards are doing well assisting that king and the miners they are just flowing in beautifully guys and behind them is also the grand warden that is set to ground for sure 
and uh, right so first heat spell comes down and the giga tesla would be actually frozen over there and the warden's ability would be popped as soon as that giga bomb fuses up to make sure that the miners don't really die over here guys and the queen is now stuck on the wall she would be stuck in the wall for a few more seconds i guess uh because of the massive level on the walls but right guys the miners are doing quite well another heat spell comes down we have some splash damage over there multi inferno and two wizard towers at the bottom side we have two raid spells and one free spell with us and let's just see how this attack actually uses them and right the wizards wizard towers couldn't actually do much to those miners surprisingly but it's okay let's just see the queen is again stuck into the walls guys and that that will kind of affect the outcome of this attack as well as it will kind of turn out to be a 98 percent time fail guys honestly this was one of my favorite attacks that i have seen in this war to be honest and you can see the free spell comes down now for the splash and the rage spell as well he's at 91 percent with over 12 seconds left 93 percent and yes guys it would be ending at 98 percent that was super unlucky for him uh, i'll kind of blame the witches and also the queen as she was stuck but well deserved three star with him and i i really felt bad for this but let's move towards the next attack guys Okay guys, for the last attack, we have Mr. Virani coming in and look at the troops guys. We have bowlers, we have witches, we have pekas, we have healers and on the spells, we have a heal spell, two ray spells, one gem spell, two free spells and a poison in the CC. So one pekka and a wizard is doing some sweet stuff, creating that funnel and how patiently he is actually progressing with the queen war guys. I love that he took down the air defense with the queen and now uh, the... Queen walk is kind of progressing and time to actually slow down the clip to back the normal speed uh, but okay guys back to the normal speed here we go and right so we needed a race fail to actually ensure our queen stays alive guys and she would be stuck in the wall now comes down the wall record it would be going down through one wall and through that bomb tower as well most probably and let's see if another layer but meanwhile guys we have three witches a couple of bowlers a pekka and a king coming down from the top side or the northern side or the extreme left corner whatever you guys want to call it and rest of the troops coming inside the core of uh, not the core but the middle actually uh thanks to that a wall wrecker and the, that jump spell was quite good guys it gave us access to not just the town hall but to archer queen compartment and also the eagle artillery was settled over there some bowler bounces and it would be taking down that eagle artillery and some of more buildings the queen walk is still going on the right hand side guys the free spell is down on that on, on the town hall or was that was that from the ice golem i'm not too sure i kind of missed it guys but it's okay the grand warden's ability is also popped up for now and whew, a lot of stuff going in and from the left hand side we have a we have a couple of loons and a baby dragon kind of to grab some more percentage i believe a good step over there and let's just see what else we have the queen walk is still going on guys but the queen would be kind of stuck in the walls like most of the attacks on town hall 12 we kind of saw it in previous replays as well uh, but 67 percentage is what uh, mr virani is kind of sitting at and it's not bad guys considering that 32 33 stars is what most of the clans get uh in such kind of wars or all town hall 12s and just one attack one attempt is all you get guys so the triples have to be actually quite massive massively celebrated in this kind of attacks uh, especially cwl but it's okay guys uh mr virani would be picking off like 80 85 86 87 percent kind of in mid-range over there the pekas are doing some quite well stuff but they will be uh, low on time and the queen actually goes down as well and that's it with the last attack of this video so that's pretty much it from this video guys i really hope you guys liked it and massive shout out to luke and guys at gujarat warriors for having me over here guys to check their attacks and bring it to you guys as well again thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you next time peace out